So today is the 1st of November and uh, it's uh, about 11.30 in the morning and I'm in Havia and I'm in the Arrow now. And uh, it's such a beautiful day. It's forecast to be 27 degrees today. So an opportunity not to be missed. I think you'll agree on that one. And uh, today is a bank holiday in Spain and uh, everything is pretty much closed apart from the normal bars, restaurants. Uh, all the shops are closed and uh, it's pretty uniform. You get a lot of these bank holidays where people don't, you know, close when they're supposed to. But uh, on this particular one, what I've seen so far is you have the Chino shops, which sort of sell everything, as you all know. And then apart from that, you have the restaurants and the bars. But it's um, absolutely stunning day, beautiful day. So for a change, I'm not starting on the beach. I'm starting where the shops are. And this is a Chino shop here, Chinese, and uh, they are open, as I said. They always open pretty much all the time, especially on beach locations. You know, they find it very beneficial because I know people are going to be on the beach. But uh, they've got everything in those shops, unbelievable, really. You know, from suitcases through to Christmas, to clothing, you name it, they have it. Now, there's quite a few shops along here. There's a new fish and chip shop here that's opened. I think it was this year, I think it opened. I've not tried it yet. Fish and chips are one of my favorite meals at any time of the week, doesn't need to be Friday. But that's the fish and chip shop there. And a lot of these units are either closed or oh, yeah, not open at all. They're, they're just empty units because there's a lot of that around here, a lot of empty stuff. And across the road, you'll see all the bars and uh, the restaurants, etc. Lots of parking down here. Sometimes in the summer, you have to park a bit of a distance and maybe walk in. But, you know, it's only a 10 minute walk at most. So it's not difficult. So you'll see along here, all the shops are closed today. And... Uh, Oh, actually, there's a couple here that are open, so I'll take that back. So, oh, there's one, there's one shop, which continues on. And you're coming around the back of the beach now. So I'll show you through here. Got a bank on the corner here. Lots of apartments in there. Have you? Lots. And you come to these little areas here where you've got other shops, some offices, and uh, obviously further bars as well. But there are a few open. So I suppose it's because we're still in very mild weather, 1st of November. I mean, it's going to be 26, 27 today, they're saying on the radio. So I suppose people are thinking, well, Let's open, let's get that last bit of business. So I assume that's what they're doing. So I'm gonna go back on the beach now and uh, show you what's going on there. Obviously this is a quiet time of the year for people visiting. So you're not gonna get the horns on the beaches as you normally would. But uh, what you will do is you'll get the locals, you'll get the Spanish because it is a holiday. So, and they love their beaches. So they will be out in numbers with their children to enjoy this lovely weather. And I think it's forecast rain for a couple of days. So I think we need to make the most of it. But I can see already that there's quite a few people on the beach. I think you'll be able to see that yourself in a minute. It's quite a large beach because it wraps round the hour now. So you get that uh, feeling of it's actually bigger than you think it is. 
and this walkway on the hour and hour is fantastic because people ride their bikes and they run and they do all kinds of stuff and then the kids and obviously the adults are on the beach as well as you can see in front of me now there's uh, for November the 1st I think that's pretty good the amount of people that are here so it's uh, as I say, it's just too nice not to be out there, really. Got quite a few boats around, people in the water. So it's, um, it's a time to enjoy yourself before the hard winter hits. I mean, the winter's here, obviously not as hard as a lot of other countries, especially where I come from in England. But, uh, you know, it's still hard enough for us especially when you're used to the warmth so much of the year. But uh, at least we get quite a few months where it is beautiful. Got a children's play area here. It's not very big, but there's quite a few kids on it enjoying themselves. The trouble is with Spain, if it does if it does rain, you know, you're limited to what you can do really. So, you know, this is why, you know, when it stays like this, you really have to get out there and really enjoy yourself. You know, all these people in front of me on their bikes, look, kids, parents. It's a big thing over here. Cycling is massive. A lot of people from other countries come over here, you know, in their droves up and down the mountains. It's good for the economy, obviously. But this is a, a lovely walkway, this is. Because even if you ride on your bike, you don't really get in the way of people. A lot of the shops here are open, obviously, because uh, they know that people, because of the weather forecast, are gonna be here. <laughs> 